Okay, so this is just a video for a move which I'm going to call Hit the Wall. Um, its official title is a syncopated side undulation. It looks like this. Okay. Um, I am going to do a separate video for side undulations because when you smooth it out, you get this lovely undulation to the side and in fact you can make those really juicy so that will be a separate video but this move will be the basis for it um, the reason I'm calling it hit the wall is we're going to imagine that we've got an imaginary wall to the side of us now this wall for some reason allows arms <laughs> to go through the, so our arm and our shoulder can go through the wall but the rest of our body can't okay and we're going to try and hit the wall with first of all our, the side of our hip then the side of our chest and then our ear okay so we're going to start by taking a step now it's important especially when you're trying to learn this move not to do a big step because you're going to get really off balance so it's just a small step really you need a nice bent knee here um, and to make sure that your pelvis is neutral okay we're going to just simply slide so we're sliding our hips horizontally until this hip hits this imaginary wall okay so we slide now we're going to try and hit the wall so we've left the rest of our body behind so we're just sliding that hip now we're going to hit it with the outside of our chest remember now while my shoulder go through it so we're keeping our hip there and we're going to bring our chest to the wall. Now what's going to happen is that the chest is going to come diagonally because otherwise it's pretty impossible to get there without it being a bit of a strain and not looking so nice. So we're going to allow, we're going to do a chest slide leaving our head behind and we're going to allow it to go diagonally. So we hit with the hip, the chest, and then finally we're going to hit with our ear. Now, when we're doing a side undulation, you can, if you're an advanced dancer, allow your head to sort of come on its own. But you, can, you do have the possibility of hurting your neck if you do this. So we are going to see our shoulders, our neck and our head as a block that move together for now. Okay, so when we slide with our hip, slide with our chest, and then come up with our ear, we are not letting our head flick. We're just simply going to touch the wall with the ear. Now, remembering that we're having our ear kind of in line with our chest, but it isn't quite um, in line. So when we're coming here, we've got to be careful that we don't overshoot and lose our balance because our ear wants to stay in line with our shoulder we need to keep it in line with our chest just inside of our chest in fact so we're going to have a nice posture bent knees we're going to hit with the hip hit diagonally up with the chest hit with the ear and then we're going to have our weight on this foot which allows us to then move off on the right foot so let's look at it one more time I'm going to slide with hips, chest, ear, yeah. And if we go a little faster, boom, bottom, yeah. One more time, boom, bottom. Lovely. I'll do the um, video for side undulations now.